when I think of what it means for God to be with me, I just think back to when it states that Jesus ascended and went into heaven to be with the Father. And he left us, but he left us with the Holy Spirit to live with us and to dwell in us. He really is like my best friend. So whenever the trees like blow or the leaves move, or I feel like a very soft breeze, it's like, I know that he's with me. And he's like reminding me like, hey, I got you. And that's what God desires with us is this closeness, this friendship, this intimate time um, on a daily basis. As an artist, that really looks like inviting God into the spaces that I create realize if I try to do things of my own strength, I'm just going to burn out. And um, who better to have as a resource to call on than the author of art itself? In the seasons when I felt God, God is with me, and that's, that's, that's a big question, when I feel like God is with me, what it has actually been is, for me, is trusting that I do not have to force or manipulate anything, you not know, to try to make things turn out as I want them to be, but rather trust God and see the process. When I think of it, God with us, I also think of the fact that God um, is the God who adopts us. And that's kind of her story. It's Millie's story. He, with all my mess, came to me in my brokenness. Mm -hmm. And he says, you are mine. You do not, I'm not afraid of you. You are mine. You are my child. Means that no matter what, circumstance comes my way I don't have to fear because he's with me there was a time where I, I really felt uh God was with me and I had such a peace during this time it was when my dad had a heart transplant trying to find jobs transitioning to the U.S. our story of infertility 12 or 13 years trying to get pregnant God has been so faithful and so good brought us both through our own journeys of cancer and I think through that too like strengthened our marriage in lots of ways because we had to take care of each other. I think I really experienced the true peace that God can only give during those moments when there's so much uncertainty there. And even when it was hard and I had questions and I was yelling at him like, God, this don't make any sense. When God takes over in those places, it really is all a testament to his glory and to his goodness. I knew that whatever his plan was and his desire was, was going to be better than anything that I could come up with on my own. Maybe you don't know it, notice it in the moment, but then when you look back, you can, you can see, you know, God's hand was right there with me.